What's good YouTube? Today I'm back to the video on today. I'm going to be continuing this series of what NBA players think of YouTubers. You guys showed a lot of love on the fly videos so I have to do a cash version and well here it is. Of course we all know who Cash is and we know that he's a basketball YouTuber that has taken over the YouTube scene for over the past decade. As a result of this, a lot of NBA players have of course noticed the man if it's either bashing him or showing some love. Now with that being said, let's get into this crazy list. First of all, what better way to start this video than with Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's one of Cash Nasty's favorite players. Back in 2019, the two had guys who were invited to a Nike event and participated in a mini camp for the kids. That's when out of nowhere, Cash and Jester got the opportunity to meet Giannis and learn how to perfect his hero step. While listening to Giannis though, Cash tried to counter what he said and even offered to take a charge. Hey, right. So once you leave, well, I could take a charge. Oh, I could do that, right? Smart, smart. All right. Well, if I know you're the charge, you're the guy that takes charge, so go take a charge. So I'm just going the same way. <laughs> Everyone with a charge, though. No, that's not a charge. <laughs> hey, in the circle. You're in the circle. Yeah, Giannis really called Cash Nasty small right there, and that's lit. To make this even better, Giannis claimed to be a big fan of 2i for a while, especially Cash. He mostly loves the energy brought to the videos, which is awesome. However, did you know that Paul George is also a big fan of Cash? Well, let's go back to 2018. Around this time, Cash and LSK had the opportunity to meet Paul George and even do a wager against him in 2K18. George had always watched Cash Nasty's videos and he knew how good he was in 2K, so he was locked in for this game. The way it pretty much was that if Cash won, he would have received signature shoes from Paul George, but if he lost, then he would just have to run Mike Park with PG and pretty much carry him so he can improve his negative record. And knowing Cash, he had to bring his tryhard mentality early on and do a little trash talking to Paul George. But, uh, I'm gonna give you an L today, dog. Okay. That's what they Keep say. Real. That's what they say. You about to see, bro. Right. You, about, you about to see. Right. However, this ended up happening. Go get that. Go get that. Uh, this is... Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I got my swag up there. Oh, Paul George is really like that in 2K and I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> Anyways, even though Cash did lose, Paul George still rewarded him with some rare signature shoes and a new PlayStation 4. He did this because of how much he admired the content and the overall vibes that day, which is crazy. However, there's an NBA player that does not like Cash that much and that's Kevin Durant. So back in 2016, we all know that KD made the infamous decision to leave the Oklahoma City Thunder and join the team that he blew a 3-1 lead to, the Golden State Warriors. Therefore, knowing that he's a big LeBron fan, Cash Nasty hated this move and actually cursed at KD on Twitter. He said the following, You must be a p if you choose to join a 73-9 winning team and betray your friends to your rivals. You blew a 3-1 lead and joined them shaking my head. Honestly, Cash is speaking facts right here and I cannot be even mad at what he said. However, know how emotional KD can become sometimes, he responded to these comments on an LSK video. KD, how do you deal with slander on Twitter from like Cash Nasty, big YouTuber? How do you deal with it? If you are on a break, you know Cash Nasty. I know you. I know you tweet him. All these cats, boy. YouTuber, yo. I see y'all. You see me, Chris London? Yes, I know you cannot really take much from that clip, but you can still see by Katie's body language that he was salty as heck and that he wanted to curse back at Cash Nasty. With that in mind, Cash of course ended up despising Katie even more for the upcoming years and even had this reaction in an NBA Finals game. However, it's all good with Cash. At least there's other NBA players that still appreciate the man, with De'Aaron Fox being one of them. Back in 2017, LSK was invited to an NBA event and got to meet some of the best young players in the league. That's when out of nowhere, he got the opportunity to interview De'Aaron Fox Fox and he asked him the following question. Who's your favorite YouTuber, buddy? Um, Cash Nasty. <laughs> That's actually crazy to see, and ever since this happened, Cash and Fox have collaborated in a ton of videos. Still, let's not forget that Fox did say this once about Cash Nasty's jump shot. It's funny because you used to not flick your wrist. So you actually been watching my jump shot and you critique it. So it's funny cause I used to not flip my wrist with the fact I flip my wrist. Why can't you just give me some props, bro? 
How? He got hit up the air Fox, man. Say, how can you get cash from props, man? You know that jumper look wet like water. You know it was wet. Come on! Sally, though, that's not the only time that an NBA player has criticized Cash Nasty. Early this year, House of Highlights hosted an $100,000 game of knockout. Knowing that he was from the top of the key, Cash of course participated and even though he did lose, he still gave it his all. However, before the competition, he legend Dwayne Wade has some interesting words to say about Cash Nasty's jump shot. Ooh, Cash Nasty, that jumper is nasty. It's nasty, but you know what? It's quick. That's one of those jumpers that you, it's hard to defend because you don't, he's not loading up. You can't really tell when he's going to shoot it because once you get into his motion, it's gone. So, from the looks of it, Cash Nasty, I got to give you about a six. Yeah, this actually happened, and when Cash saw this, he could not believe it. From the looks of it, Cash Nasty, yeah. I got to give you about a six. Six way! Have you seen Zare shot? Bro, come on, bro. He got a set shot, bro. At least I'm moving my shot, bro. Come on, Wade. Don't do me like that, Wade. Come on, man. Oh, six. However, that right there is not as crazy as the time that LeBron James actually recognized Cash during a Lakers game. So back in October of 2018, the Los Angeles Lakers faced off the San Antonio Spurs at home. For context, this was just the third Laker game of LeBron James, and of course, Cash had to pull up. After getting rejected multiple times in the past, he wished that he would finally get recognized by his favorite player, and well, this happened. Not only that, but if you look at this clip right here, LeBron also looked right at Cash for a few seconds, which is crazy. Yes, I know LeBron still has not said anything directly to Cash like he did with RDC, but at least this was a step in the right direction. Now, did you know that there's a rookie that actually called out Cash 1v1? Well, let's go back to the day of the 2022 NBA Draft. LSK once again was invited to this event and got to meet a lot of the upcoming rookies. However, while being at the elevator, things got pretty crazy. Here, he got to meet the number 5 overall pick in the draft in Jaden Ivey and he asked him a very important basketball question about two hype. Out of two hype, who would you score the most points on? Thank you. <laughs> you heard that, guys? Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Let's take a quick flick. Yes, Ivy really thinks that he will score more points on Cash than someone like Mitchell or Jidel. Actually, Cash, if you're watching this right now, what do you think about this? I'm really curious to hear your response and hopefully they can set up a 1v1 really soon. And talking about 1v1s, do you know that Cash played All-Star Drew Holiday and actually performed really well? Well, let's go back to 2018. Seeking invited Too High to play Drew Holiday and knowing how Cash is the pioneer of YouTube 1v1s, he had to pull his shot and challenge Drew Holiday to a 1v1. In this game, Cash was locked in and outside of this possession right here he went crazy Man, you what you talking about Drew? <laughs> Go <ahead and> <laughs> Yeah, you just saw Cash beat Drew Holiday in a 1v1, which is absolutely insane. Also, to make this even better, Drew Holiday also said this about Cash. It's been, it's been fun. Hey, man. I know a little something about you now, dog. What's that? You go who? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All good. However, Cash sadly could not translate that when he played Julius Randle and even Glenn Davis. To be fair though, Cash was playing against like 6 foot 10 guys and you really cannot do anything about it. Still, there's no excuse on what LaMelo Ball did to Too High back in 2017. Even though Cash did held his own in these games and had some nice plays, LaMelo was still too much and dominated. <laughs> Anyways, outside of these runs, LaMelo has shown to be a big fan of Cash, especially the 2K videos that he used to post. Now, did you know that All-Star Trey Young and Rookie of the Year Scotty Barnes both said that Cash is nice at basketball? Well, let's start with Trey Young since it is an older occurrence. Back in 2019, 
Cash was filming a video where he DM NBA players his jump shot, and while knowing that Cash has known the man since the high school days, Trey Young responded pretty quickly to this message and said that the jump shot is wet like water. And honestly, this has to be one of the biggest compliments ever, considering that Trey Young is one of the best three point shooters in the NBA. Now, with Scotty Barnes, he gave Cash some props in a recent LSK video. Here, he was asked to rate all of Two Hype's jumpers, and when it came to Cash Nasty, Scotty Barnes had this to say. Man. Cash nasty. Wet like water. Now I will say that was one of his cleaner jumps. My editor uh he, he picked that. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that was a good form right there. That was a good form. He's been working on it. So that one looked good in that vid. I'm gonna get from my eight with that one. Eight, hey, okay. Off so, the dribble pull up. It looked good in that one. He he is good off the dribble. Not only that, but in that same video, Quentin Richardson also shows some love to Cash. His better shots. Oh, he got the crisp, the quick release on 2K. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he got <laughs> But he deep out there. Wet like water. Standard. And he off the bop with it. I'm going to give him a 10. He got Ooh, off the bop with first 10. Okay, Cash. That right there is really dope to see. And you have to give credit to Cash for improving over the years. I mean, he went from shooting like a rookie Lonzo Ball to this. Oh. Wet like water. Top of the key, man. Hot spot, man. You should know better. That's a huge glow up and you have to give a shout out once again to Cash for putting the work in. And now before this video ends, I'm going to do some honorable mentions real quick. All these NBA players that I will be mentioning right now are additional players who Cash met in basketball events and as a result recognize his YouTube channel. John Moran. I mean me versus you. I heard you made a 2K. Is that true? So, so smooth. So oh, trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? What do you what do you need me to do? Just uh, for the Appreciate for that, man. Yeah, no Keep problem. making them shots out there, yeah. man. Love watching yeah. you, man. Yeah. Already. Hey, okay. with you. Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, there we go. Look, look, look at that. Oh, they got my hair on. Star on the playground. Oh. I look good. Tell me, Carl. They exaggerate my forehead. Just hey. real, man. It ain't that bad, man. <laughs> You got earrings on, bro. You got the. You he's got, always, he's always he about. 15 carats on. And lost the ball. Things are coming, man. We got the exact same tattoo artist. Hard art. Mine not good as yours, but we got the best shooters on our teams. You right. We got JJ. <laughs> you right. Uh, I'm the best defensive person on my team at two height, and you the best defensive person on your team. Me and Drew. Okay. Pretty, pretty even. Okay. Okay. Are all players that Cash was able to collaborate with, and that's lit. Now, with that being said, I do have a question. If you're watching this video, Cash, is there any future collabs with NBA players? That would be really fun to watch, and it would definitely do numbers. Anyways, shout out to Cash once again for the amazing content over the years and for getting recognition from these NBA players. The man deserves it, and it's only the beginning. And that pretty much concludes this video. What do you guys think of Cash Nasty? Which NBA player on this list had the funniest reaction? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and turn on those notifications so you know when I upload a new banger. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.